That's the Quran. Yeah, yeah, you can you can clarify it one second. Yeah. The Allah, Islamic Allah of the Quran things, you can get back to the husband, the first husband. But let me read, read to you what Yahweh of the Bible can thinks. I, can I, can I you can, can, you I, can, once I finish. So, what does Yahweh of the Bible think? Let me read to you again. If a man divorces his wife and she goes from him and becomes another man's, may he return to her again? Rhetorically, he's asking, may he return to her again? Would not that land be greatly polluted? So, Yahweh of the Bible thinks the moment you leave, you can't come back. It's a one way street. That's Yahweh of the Bible, yeah, yeah, clearly contradictory to the to the Sharia as given in the Quran. The question to you is, there, there is I, I can see only one way to reconcile these two, and that is by saying clearly, Yahweh of the Torah is completely opposite in character to Islamic Allah of the Quran. Yahweh of the Old Testament is saying to the people, to the Jews, yeah, yeah, that that the, when the divorce is one go, there is no way to return. That's it. So divorce for eternal. So this one, and then we have another saying in the same Bible which are holding, which is the Jesus of the New Testament is saying, no, you cannot divorce at all. Now here. Can't you see there is again contradiction between this and this? Can you see that? The New Testament says a man is not allowed to divorce unless there is sexual immorality involved. So does the New Testament does the New Testament allow divorce? Yes, it does. Perfect. You claim it's a contradiction between the Old Testament and the New Testament. And I'd like to tell you it's clearly not a contradiction. Uh, you have understood a meaning of contradiction incorrectly. This is the point. If you are allowed to uh, be married to one person and then go marry some other person and then come back to the same person, what that would lead to is basically a disrespect for the institution of marriage. Because you can go anywhere around. Consider this. Old Testament, New Testament, same principle. Same principle. And then comes along Quran. Quran goes against this principle by saying, if you want to marry him again, go to another man and then come back. That is what I call exact polar opposite and contradiction. Okay. I will answer, by the way, I'm not running away from the answer. For us, we never claim, Muslims, we never claim that Allah is Yahweh. Perfect. We never claim this. Good. Yeah, we never claim this. Good. Good. Excellent. You know. yeah, excellent. Excellent. We never claim this. Absolutely. And Very as good. well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Very That's good. Thank you. I don't need, need, I don't, I don't, I don't need to do well, it. We are agreeing on that, so thank you. Allah mentioned to us in the Quran about his name. And he named himself wa Ta'ala as Allah. And he named himself as will reveal on the tongue of the Prophet Sallallahu on the Quran or on the tongue of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah has 99 names of the ones we are aware of now, nowadays. None of them is Yahweh. I really appreciate you agreeing on camera that Yahweh of the Bible is not the same, or, uh, same as Allah of the Quran. If you can take just one more step and go, go around, talk to your Dawah teams to remove all material which says Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, as if they're all talking about the same God. If you go take that material out of circulation, that'll be a benefit to all of us. We agree on that. You agree on that. You are apparently an expert here. You agree. You agree? No, wait, 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 wait. Islamic Allah of the Quran is polar he never to baby. He of Yahweh right. to Yahweh, like to Yahweh of the Bible. No, 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 now, there is only no, no. one suggestion <laughs> to everyone. There is, there is, there is, there is, that's why I said Islamic Allah. The, 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 the point is this. No, 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 no. He agreed there are two different gods. No, no, don't use the same trick. He agreed there are two different gods. So, I'm very glad to for you to confess on record, on record, on record that Islamic Allah is contrary, polar opposite to Yahweh of the Bible. Now, God of the Bible was merciful. He was saying, I'll forgive you, come back to me. But then he goes on to make this remarkable statement, which I want every single listener to take it to their hearts carefully. What did he say? Lift up your eyes to the desolate heights and see where have you not lain with men, sexual promiscuity? Where haven't you done that? And then he went on by the road you have sat for them like an Arabian in the wilderness. Wow. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh of 
of the Bible wow. who knows all of humans wow. deep down in their hearts knows everything that they do in secret and in public for sexual promiscuity chooses one group as a prime example for the nation of Israel and who are they he says like an Arabian in the wilderness to me it seems like Islam and Sharia is nothing but formalizing what Yahweh of the Torah absolutely hates what he considers uh, considers as irreligious actions wickednesses yeah. wickedness that is what seems to be enshrined in quote unquote religion in Islam hear what I'm saying yes, I, I said we never claimed Allah is equal to Yahweh we never claimed this we said Allah has 99 names in the, uh, from the Muslim we understood this one the names of Allah so we call Allah with these names that he named himself with or what the Prophet Sallallahu has named his Lord with. In us, amongst us, we don't name him Yahweh. You are saying they, not, they don't share the same name. I am saying they don't even sh seem to share the same nature. Yeah. Contrary viewpoints, directly opposite and therefore it's an obvious conclusion that they are both not the same. Perfect. And that is where my suggestion to you is once you have understood the point I am making, to go and tell all your Islamic Dawah friends, mm -hmm. never ever to go around saying yeah. Muhammad worship, worship Yahweh of the Bible. Or, uh, no, no, no I, I, I didn't say you said that. If you can go around and say Muhammad has no connection with Abraham, Moses, sexual promiscuity of any degree, any degree is anti-God. All the women should know it and all sensible men should know it. One wife is the only formal thing God Yahweh gave to his people. Anything beyond that, like in the case of Solomon, like in the case of jo Jacob and so on, were never approved formally, given as a matter of law by Yahweh of the Bible. Except in Sharia, in Islamic view, you have it. I have committed my life to serve my God because he is worthy. And therefore, I can all my life give you all defenses that you need for you to safely which, come which, to which Jesus one, which Christ. One, which one? The one who one? died came back alive again, Amen. Jesus Christ. He is the one who is able to save you, Muhammad. Okay. You need to come to him. Based on what we have discussed so far, would you not think it is a good idea for you to leave Islam, give up on your Arabian irreligiousness and wickedness and come follow Yahweh of the Bible. Do you not think that's a good idea?